Hey everybody, Mom at Yourself here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what we consider our diaper bag essentials. I wanted to show you our diaper bag and also show you what's inside of it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give it a big thumbs up and hit that little bell notification symbol. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, I want to show you guys what kind of diaper bag we have. I do have it unzipped, so let me go ahead and zip that up. So this is the Eddie Bauer Backpack Diaper Bag. We love this thing. I could not imagine having a diaper bag that goes over my shoulder. I just don't find those comfortable, and I know that my husband probably would not like to carry that around. So when we were looking at new diaper bags to put on our registry, we thought that this would be the best option. Um, so again, this is an Eddie Bauer backpack. Um, I know that we registered at Target and um, Baby or Toys R Us. Babies are us. <laughs> um, and so we decided to go with this one, and we were so happy that we got it. So I'm going to show you what is in the first big zipper right back here. So when you, as you can see in here, it's not the most organized but I am gonna show you what we keep in there. So first of all, we have um, burp rags. Now, these are the Gerber burp rags. We actually got these, they're cloth diapers on Amazon. I think they come about 10 to a pack. Um, so I'll go ahead and link those down below so you can see how much they were. We found them much less inexpensive um, versus getting actual burp rags that are titled burp rags. Um, so, we thought that these would be the best option for us. I know that this is what our parents use for us as well, so we decided to go with these. We probably have close to 40 different, or 40 of these burp rags, and I know that we have them kind of scattered throughout our family too. I know my mom has a couple, I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law does. Um, so they come in super, super handy, especially because when Vivian was born, she was very big into spitting up. She did it quite often. Um, it actually kind of runs in our family, so we knew that these were going to be an essential thing for it to have. And now that she doesn't spit up as much, they're still nice to have for quick cleanup. She's still every once in a while when she has her cereal or her formula, she tends to have a little bit of a spit up. So these are always in our bag at all times. The second thing that we keep in this big pocket is an extra burp, extra bib, I'm sorry, an extra bib. So um, I am very forgetful, <laughs> so a lot of times I will forget to bring one of these when we are out and about. So I always like to keep one in the diaper bag at all times. Um, we don't have any specific preference on what kind of bib we use. We do have the plastic ones. I can honestly say that we haven't exactly tried them yet. I'm sure they're fantastic. We just haven't felt the need. Um, but these are the ones that we have in there right now. Um, we do have pullover ones. Um, these ones I think are just Velcro. Um, I don't think we have any snap ones anymore, but um, this is what we keep in our diaper bag at all times is an extra burp bib, an extra bib. <laughs> the next thing that we like to keep in our, um, in our diaper bag at all times is a couple extra sets of clothes. So right now, because we are in the summer months of Wisconsin, you never know if it's gonna be hot or cold. It fluctuates way too much. So um, I do have one outfit that has a pair of, we call them jeggings, because this girl's got thighs for days. And so these actually look more like tights or leggings than they do actual little jeans. But we keep those. And then this is a um, long sleeve onesie. So those we keep in our diaper bag as well for those nights that, you know, we might have a campfire with family, friends. Um, that way we always have an extra set of nice warm clothes just in case. And then we also keep right now an extra set of summer clothes. So these are the little shorts that we have for her. And then I just have a regular old white Gerber short sleeve onesie. Um, so we keep those in there as well. And then I also like to keep an extra pair of socks because you never know when those little tootsies are going to get cold. So we do keep an extra pair in there as well. The nice part about this diaper bag is I do want to show you is that it has these pockets in the back. I don't know if you can see them right here, but those will hold bottles. Um, we've used them to hold water bottles for um, formula and it's super nice. Back here in this zipper, we do have a few things as well. We kind of keep all of her medicines in here. So we have um, 
Tylenol in here for teething right now. And we also have it, excuse my dog, he is bumping my stand. Um, we have Tylenol while we're teething. We also have Oragel and then the syringe to dose out the Tylenol. So that's in there. <laughs> you hear Vivian in the background talking. And then we also keep our little bulb thing in here as well for sucking out those extra boogers. We don't really have to use it very often, but you never know when it might come in handy. So we've just always kept that in there. The other nice thing is it does have this pocket in the front right here. So you can keep other things in there as well. I don't think we, no, no, we don't have anything in there right now, um, but you can keep things in there as well. So that is the first pocket of our diaper bag. So next I'm gonna show you this next size zipper. So in here, you can see that we keep our diapers in here. Um, right now I have five of them. A lot of times I will keep up to 10 diapers just because I always rather be over prepared than under prepared. So that's why we keep um, quite a few diapers in here at a time. Adrian's gonna let you know that she uses a lot of diapers. Um, and then it also comes with a changing pad as well. So we do keep that in there. And then I know also we have a uh, desitin. Um, so we had tried different options for um, butt creams basically, and this is the one that we like the best. I think I might do another video talking about um, different baby products that we've used and what we liked, didn't like, because we've done a lot of trial and error with Vivian. So um, that might be coming up in my next video, but desitin was definitely our butt cream of choice. So that is everything for that pocket. Next we have this little front slap, flap right here. So it has a little magnet that kind of keeps it closed and it also has these things you can hang keys, that sort of thing on. In here, um, right now, there is just a plastic bag. We do like to keep a plastic bag in our diaper bag for dirty diapers when we're out and about. We don't like to just throw them in the trash can. We do like to wrap them up because you never know how stinky they're gonna get. So we do like to keep an extra um, plastic bag in there as well. When I'm out and about and it's just me and say we're going shopping, something like that, um, I do like to keep my wallet and phone, keys, that sort of thing in here and then I'll put it underneath the cart if we are in a store. Then that way I don't have to also carry a purse because that's a lot to carry when it's just you. And when it's my husband it's with me, it's another thing. But I do like to keep my, um, my wallet and phone and such in there when we are out and about. So I will transfer that from my purse to the diaper bag when we go shopping. The other nice part about this particular diaper bag is it has two side zipper pockets. So this first one is actually insulated, which is really nice for putting a bottle in here. We will also stick a um, ice pack in there when we know we're gonna be gone for longer than what it can keep it cold for. Um, then that way, we know that her bottle's gonna stay nice and cold. Um, otherwise, we sometimes, depending on how long we're gonna be gone, we will take an extra cooler as well or like a little lunch bag. Um, but that's nice for just one bottle or so. And then in here, we also have an extra spoon. Um, I tend to forget spoons. So I do keep an extra spoon in the diaper bag just in case. Um, I think these ones, I wanna say I got them at Walmart and it looks like they're the Munchkin brand. I'm not sure how much they are, but I will go ahead and link that down below as well so you can see how much these were. We don't go for anything super fancy when it comes to our spoons. Um, we just like something that's gonna feed her and that's it. So I'm gonna give this to Vivian because she wants to play. She's over here watching. <laughs> All right, so then that is the insulated side of my diaper bag. This other side is super nice. So this is where we keep our wipes. Um, it did come with a plastic container for the wipes, but it never held enough. Um, it would maybe hold barely half a package of these wipes. So I thought it'd be a little bit easier to just get the ones at Walgreens or Walmart, anywhere you wanna get your wipes that have these little closable um, tops on them, then that way I don't have to open up a package, put it in, and then put it back in here. So right now, because this one's getting a little low, I am actually able to fit an extra one behind it as well. So then that way, if I do run out and I don't have an extra one, there's one already ready for me because Lord knows I can forget that too. Um, the other nice part about these backpacks as well is the fact that they come with these nifty little straps on the back. So these unclip. And you can hook these on the stroller, you can hook them on a shopping cart, you can hook them 
you know, anywhere that you have like some sort of a handle or something like that. Um, so I have done that on shopping carts and I have done that on her stroller when we go for a walk too, if I don't want to stick it down underneath. Um, the only thing is, is that it does like bump you when you walk. So um, if you walk really far away, I guess it won't bug you, but um, that they are, they do come in handy when you are out shopping with a shopping cart. So I think, oh wait, I forgot one more pocket. How could I forget? There's so many pockets in this thing. So then there is also this little zipper right up in front right there so in here we keep these nifty little clips for her nooks um, Vivian likes to spit out and projectile spit out her nook um, so we do like to keep these on hand um, when we are out and about because um, that way if she does spit it out at least it's clipped to her and it won't get on anything and be gross and then I don't have to go and wash it it's just fine so I do have two of them in here. These are actually two different ones, which I am gonna talk about as well in my like baby product must-haves. And also along with like the products we've tried, didn't like, but this is um, a must-have for us. Um, I do have two different kinds, both I got on Amazon. I will go ahead and link those down below as well so that you can see them. Um, but this one has a plastic clip and this one has a metal clip. Um, I know when we were looking at different baby products to help with this sort of thing, this was one of the ones that we first went to um, and we knew we had to find them. So I went on Amazon and that's where I found them. And then also in this top little pocket, we keep an extra passy. So Vivian likes her pacifiers. Um, so we keep an extra one in here just in case she does spit one out and it does happen to land on the ground or she gets one all dirty somehow with food or whatever. Um, we do have an extra one just in case, so we always keep an extra one in the diaper bag. So we do love, absolutely love this diaper bag because it has so many different compartments and so many different places you can put things. Um, so it has come in super handy with us. So that is all the stuff that we like to keep in our diaper bag. So I was thinking for my next video, I would kind of discuss um, baby products that we absolutely have to have, baby products that we've tried and didn't really like it. Um, if you think that's something that you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Again, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Um, don't forget that little notification bell um, that will let you know every time we upload a new video. And that's basically it. Thanks so much for watching my first video. Bye, guys.